Hello, my name is Matt Davis, and I'd like to introduce you to the Count Fifi game for developing accounting and finance skills for business. Once you've worked through the introductory screens in the game and you've registered for the game, you then get the opportunity to set up your business. So you choose whether to sell pianos or guitars. I've chosen to sell guitars. You choose a name for your business and then you decide whether the bookkeeping should be performed automatically or manually. We're going to choose automatic bookkeeping, which means the debits and credits are taken care of for us. Click Submit and you get a summary of the various levels of the game. We start at level zero, which is a training level. And the only objective for level zero is to end the year with a positive cash balance. So the way the game works is that you have a series of six monthly stages. So we respond to events, we make decisions. In our case, we then review transactions, review the business's financial statements, complete a quiz, and then we find out how well we've performed through the performance summary. At the start of each month, we have an event to respond to. Some are positive, some are negative. For some of them, the outcome depends on your response. So here, uh, for month one, a local newspaper has written a positive story about the business which increases custom, customer demand. We drag the event to the choice of option to find out the consequences. In this case, the demand has increased by three units. Each month, you have to make a simple set of decisions for your business. How many units of inventory to buy and how many sales staff to employ? So how many guitars are we going to buy and how many sales people do we need? You then have some data about your business, uh, sales price, unit costs, some monthly costs. Each salesperson has the capacity to sell uh, 10 guitars and your store has the capacity to sell 50 guitars. So we have to decide how many units of inventory to buy. Well, the demand is expected to be three, but that can vary up or down. In level one, it can vary up or down by two. So let's buy five units of inventory. We need one salesperson who, who has the capacity to sell up to 10 guitars. Once we've made those choices, we click done and we get feedback at level zero as to whether the decisions were sensible in the light of the demand and supply uh, information. We then have the wheel of fate, which varies the demand potentially in this case, we've sold one more unit than expected, so we've sold four guitars. Here's a summary of the various icons that appear in the game. So now we have the transactions, which are summarized for us to review. Uh, so we can scroll through the transactions for the business to find out how they've impacted on the business's financial statements. Once we've uh, reviewed those transactions, we move to the financial statement screen. And at the end of every month, your financial statements are produced for you and you can check your financial performance and your financial position. So we have a statement of profit and loss, which looks at your performance to date. And then we have the statement of financial position, which looks at your financial position at the end of the month. Then we move to the monthly quiz. So your customer demand is impacted by your performance in a quiz at the end of each month. Now you can decide on the time limit. You can have eight questions to answer. You can choose 100 seconds or 500 seconds. If you choose uh, the shorter time period, your score is boosted because you're answering your questions under more time pressure. So the way you answer the questions is by dragging the question in the middle of the screen to your chosen response. If you get it right, uh, the answer glows green. If you get it wrong, the answer glows red. So you're getting instant feedback on whether you've answered these questions correctly. So the idea is, as you demonstrate your accounting and finance competence, the customer demand for your business increases, your business is more successful, and potentially uh, you're able to move to the next level of the game. So just to show you what happens if you get a question wrong, uh, we're going to deliberately uh, get the wrong answer for one of these questions so you can see how you're able to review uh, the result. 
So question eight, a current liability is not a liability due to be paid in more than one year. So you see that the answer that is correct glows green, the answer that's incorrect glows red, and you can review your answers at the end of the quiz to get feed further feedback. At the end of the uh, month, you get a performance summary, which shows your score. Um, and then you move to the next month and continue for the 12 months that make up the year. And if at the end of the year you've achieved your objectives, you progress to the next level of the game. So I hope that helps and good luck with Camp FIFA.